Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the Kamikaze? The Old Guard, starring Charlize Theron, a beautiful black chick, um, a grown-up kid from the Harry Potter movies, Jafar's in it, and that black dude from Doctor Strange. Yeah. So the Old Guard, from what I'm hearing, is based off of a comic book. It's like an indie comic book, oh. and yeah, they made it into a movie on Netflix, and it was a Netflix original movie, and... Netflix is not really good at marketing or, like, advertising, I'd say. Because this one caught my radar by word of mouth. I really wasn't, like, hearing anything about this. But I heard good things. I heard this is a good movie. This is a great movie. So, mm -hmm. eventually, I'm a little bit late to the party, but we checked it out last night. She didn't really even want to watch it. Well, I didn't have reservations against it. I just did. I, I had watched the trailer like after watching something else mm -hmm. and you know how it just automatically plays random trailers for new stuff that they've got out mm -hmm. and so i saw the trailer and i was like oh okay i mean this is more interesting than i expected it to be i expected it to be more one of those like i'm an old cia agent yeah. type thing and i was like ah that's boring whatever seen that before oh, i don't sure. want to watch it but then i was like oh this is different yeah it did okay. get it did have a little bit of the salt vibes when it came to like the the marketing a little bit salt and like the other charlie snare movie that she was in uh, atomic blonde atomic blonde a little bit but when you watch this though it kind of had way like better than that movie. way better than that it kind of had the vibe of i'd say john wick meets x-men yeah it was really the, it the, was more sci-fi than i expected yeah you know i really like the premise of it too the premise is something similar to something i'm actually writing in my sci-fi book i'm not going to give any details away about that but it's very similar not exactly similar but i love it, it makes me want to go out and look it at this comic component yeah for sure for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. makes me want to look up this comic book and and the things with it mm -hmm. um another thing i'd like to mention man the, the the casting was great the acting was amazing for straight the netflix movie um i thought the choreography these fights the choreography was really good the choreography is great because there's a lot of fights and a lot of death in this movie and holy crap you're just watching it like oh ah ooh. i feel like charlie theron is really really good at that absolutely even like atomic blonde had really really great fighting scenes in it the story was eh. but <laughs> <laughs> her fighting is no the, par. i think she's a great she does a great job with it i think her and the other the other chick was really good at fighting and the shooting styles too i thought it was really good and when when it came to like um the story uh so i'm not gonna give too much away because the story is about these 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 people are immortal. They don't. They've never. They can't die, and they've been around since like the beginning of time. All of them are old as heck, just living life and just trying to do good within the things, with within the circumstances that they're left with. And um, yeah, I found I found it, it's it's not much of like a huge superhero type movie. It's just like you know, just making the best of a situation that they're people in. Just trying to do good things, really. Absolutely, and I loved how the ending brought like. Like you want some more. Like it, it shows that there's con there might be a continuation of this. There might be more movies. You mentioned last night that you felt like this actually would have been better as like a series, like a Netflix. I feel like the yeah the the premise I think was mm -hmm. strong enough and yeah, the yeah. actors like all of it. I feel like the story was just strong enough that they could have made it longer. They could have stretched it and out. Stretched it out. Yeah, and, and, and I would have watched. Giving you more context and background into the things that they've done in the past. And Absolutely. I would have loved to see that kind of like more of a play out of all the things and all the places that they've been throughout history. And I think that's one we of only the. Got to touch on it. Oh, for sure. And I think that's one of the best things. When you said that last night, I was like, please say that in a review because you're right. The because since they've been throughout history, you could you could have showed so many like side stories with each one. Because there's only like four of these guys, and you could also show it a lot of it, things. They could even do a spinoff series that focuses on like one or two of their lives. Oh yeah, that for would be sure. Cool too. That would be great. That would be great. But yeah, no, it leaves a lot of um, leaves a lot there for possibly sequels. And I'm I'm all for it if they want to do I would a sequel. Love a sequel so yeah 2020 does not have a lot of great movies because we're limited of what we can see especially in the movie theaters but look if you want to see a good movie you gotta look for them there's gems out there and i this is one of them this is one that's easy access netflix please check out the old guard and yeah what did you, if you watch the old guard please let me know in the comments what you thought of it would you like to see more of it did you think it was stellar or did you think it was kind of bland and if you've read the comics please let me know like the 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 parallels if it was if it was uh, good for the source uh, yeah, much love, peace, and chicken grease.
Help keep your brother out the streets. Subscribe to my dad's YouTube channel. Love, peace, and chicken grease.